myself T V Sangeetha, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Uh, now see the topic of molecular rearrangement. This topic is given in the third unit of organic syllabus. So let's see what is the main, what is meant by molecular rearrangements. So when the chemical unit that may be an atom or ion or a group of atoms are migrated from one place to another within the molecule or, or to the different kind of molecule is called as the rearrangement. So the atom from where the atoms are from where the atoms are migrated that is called a migration origin uh, where to where the atoms are migrated that is called as the migration terminus. There are two different kind of molecular rearrangements. So one is the intermolecular rearrangement, another one is the intramolecular rearrangement. So this classification, classification is based on to where the molecules are going to migrated. So in first let's see the intramolecular rearrangement. So the migrations of group from one atom to another within the same molecule means that is said to be a intramolecular rearrangement. Intermolecular rearrangement means the migrations of the group from one atom to another uh, of a different kind means that is said to be a intermolecular rearrangements. So at ordinary conditions we can't differentiate inter and the intramolecular rearrangement. Uh, the crossover experiment is the only way to distinguish between the intermolecular and the intramolecular rearrangement. How we make a crossover experiment means a mixture of two structurally related substances are subjected to the crossover experiment. So uh, from the uh, product formation we can uh, find out whether it is a intermolecular or the intramolecular. So in the product is uh, you have a, a four different kind of species means that is said to be a intermolecular but only you have a mixture of a two species means that reaction is said to be a intramolecular rearrangement. So next let us see the classification. The classification is based on the migration group whether it is a having a electron pair or not or a single electron pair. So according to that we have a three different rearrangement that is anionic rearrangement, cationic rearrangement and the free radical rearrangement. Let us see one by one. The anionic rearrangement means the migration group is carrying with the electron pair that is said to be a anionic rearrangements or nucleophilic rearrangements. So it is having a electron pair means it always prefers to go uh, electron diffusion centers. So uh, what are the uh, migrating group like this category means alkyl, aryl, ring residue, hydrogen, OH group and NH2 groups. So uh, some kind of uh, migrations are shown here that is uh, and the electron diffusion centers may be a carbon, nitrogen or the oxygen. Suppose the migration is carried between carbon to carbon means that is said to be a carbon-carbon migration. The best example for carbon-carbon migration is phenacol-phenacolon rearrangement. The next one is carbon to nitrogen migration. The example is Hoffman and Curtis's rearrangement. The third one is the carbon to oxygen migration that is example is a bayer villiger oxidation. So next is cationic rearrangements. The cationic rearrangement is nothing but the migration groups are migrated without the electron pair means that is said to be a cationic rearrangement. So the, the, the cation means that is a um, electron deficient one so it always prefer to go electron rich centers. So uh, the best example for a migration is oxygen to carbon migration. The best example is a Friars rearrangement. Thank you.